Welcome back, everybody. Drin Six White plays playing Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, we got into some special place of Farilu Vorlesh's lab, and we found some notes of hers. We interacted with some stuff in her cabin thing in her inside her window. I don't know if I did that right because there was a whole lot to interact with, and they wouldn't tell you what they were before you hit on the button. So if I did it in the wrong order or something or something special, but it did give me a. Uh, Gave me a portal to let me go get her notes, so I have to assume I must have done something correct. Um, and then we're gonna go out here and go back and see where this one takes us. Going through portals, just jumping around dimensions, I guess. And now we're where are we? here. I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> A bright future awaits us. Everybody. Questions, questions. What is to be done with vanquished foes? What is to be done with treacherous friends? I know the answers to these and to many more questions. Just this, this, this embodied voice keeps kind of dropping down all over me. There's stuff here. Do I go in here? There's something in there. What's that? Setri Divamai. Okay, do I talk to him? The ghost standing for you is used to be a tall man, built like a warrior, but death was twisted his features and bent his back. His eye sockets are empty, his body mutilated, his fast face a mask of insanity. Forgiveness, I beg forgiveness. Nobody else should suffer for what I've done. I had to protect the people of Sarkoris. I killed, I killed. Who are you, ghost? I shouldn't have taken her to the threshold. I should have slain her. Where she showed, she didn't resist for the, first, for the first few days. She didn't even understand where she was or where we were taking her. She just kept repeating, I promise, I promise. Who are you? Only half our unit returned, a nasty fight. We thought the witch would be alone. I didn't know, I didn't know. I killed, but I had no idea who I was killing. Who are you? Okay, that's just gone in a circle. What are you seeking? F forgiveness? Sarkaris, blessed by the gods, Sarkaris, I was supposed to protect you, for you I fought on holy sorcerers, witches, and all others retained the sanctity of magic. I defended you, did what I had to do. I killed because I had to. Why, why, why? What did I do wrong? What are you talking about? Insects chittering, squirming, eating my eyes out. I can see through them. Yes, I can. Although they are no longer in my sockets, they eat and I watch until the end. What are you seeking for him? Says the same thing. Says the same thing. Just kind of a circular thing. You are insane, ghost. Think about your voice. The voice raises his head and speaks in the assertive tone of someone accustomed to giving orders. I am Setri Devaimai of the Found Last Clan, the first hunter of Threshold, protector of Sarkoris. I am the witch's nemesis, the best hunter of my land. I received an order to capture the witch, Arilu Vorlesh, and I carried out that order. I brought her to Threshold as a prisoner. I killed the witch's accomplice. I killed him. You used to execute in prison Sarkorian mages. Now you will remain in prison forever. It is only just. Been stuck in this world far too long. Look over your past. Go to face Charisma's judgment. That's I've kind of been on the. Okay, I gotta remember which ones I pick. So this is sort of. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have to remember this attack die ghost. I'm not gonna bother doing attacks uh, unless I have to. But um, go to your past and go to face Charisma's. So face. Charisma's Judgment. And that's for... Sort of... Not Vengeance, but like Forgiveness. Just within Shudder's utter deep sigh and slowly vanishes into thin air. So, yeah, I gave him Forgiveness. That one was forgiveness. Who else is around in here? I don't know. There was something over here. What'd you get? What'd you get? 
denunciation. I beg you to inform the first hunter and the high interrogator that the prisoner of is is covertly preparing a ritual of unthinkable scale. She's not stopped. The consequences will be devastating. I beseech you to be prudent. Oh, prisoner Opa. Prisoner Opa. I have to find prisoner Opa. All right, we'll take that. Uh, what the heck else is around here? Oh, there's something over here. Is a book. Code of the Hunter's Threshold. So I will read the book. I don't get anything. Yes. You guys can pause and read that. I'm not going to... I'm dealing with a sore throat. And I'm trying to maintain myself. But basically, he's going to kill anybody who resists him. Okay. Collect that. In case it's important somewhere along the line. All right. Beautiful. Uh, is there a way for me to get over here? I can't get over there. I want to get over there. Oh, I can just grab it. Lots of ingredients. An acorn. Well, there's a couple things over here. But I can't get to there. There we go. There's things over here. Where Bismuth is. Uh, a bunch of stuff. More over here? Oh, something over there. Interrogation record. Prisoners asked three questions of the source of her sinful power, who taught her her craft, and what deeds she intended to pursue by using it. Having not received an answer, the interrogator called first for the use of simple means of loosening the criminal's tongue, for the more intricate tools to be kept in clear view, also for the purposes of intimidation. The measures failed to produce results, and they won't go any farther. She kept picking on. I guess that's everything up here. Do I have to go? I guess I have to go down the steps. Down we go. Down the steps we go. Let's see what we can do. More Rilu. Oh, is this another prison? Ah, there's a door. Let's open the door. Get in the fight. We don't get in the fight. What's inside the door? There's something over there. I have to be careful here when I go in, otherwise I will close the door. There's something here. Okay, what's this? Opa, a thick smoke rises from the brazier before you. It's curling haze. You see a pale, haggard face with a bleeding spiral carved in its forehead. Who disturbs my restless vigil? A friend, a foe, it doesn't matter. I haven't spoken with anyone in so long. I'd be happy to hear the sound of any living voice. Who are you? In my life, my name was Opan, and I was a talented spellcaster, one of the most powerful in the land of Sarkoros. I was also the most arrogant. I believed that I could always escape from the Hunters of Threshold, and that my talent would never fail me. But a hollow misguided belief. The Hunters eventually caught me and locked me in this cursed prison, and I died within its walls. Now I am here, bound to this brazier for all eternity, in place of that... in a place that looks like the cell where I spent ten years of my life and died. I've seen a letter of denunciation. Yes, yes, I informed on her. I told the guards about the ritual she was working on. Tried to prevent the inevitable, but it was too late. How can I help you? I don't know for sure, but... I am bound by a powerful spell that my own uneasy conscience both are kept... Keeping by my soul... Soul from going down the path that all souls must follow. But you can try and smash this reserve. Perhaps it will set me free, or kill me. Something else I'd like to ask you about. I'm going to show him this ring. It's been a long time since I felt so cool and raised my finger. Sorry to his wolf took it, along with a chunk of my flesh. You repaired it? I'm glad. So you wanted to start a rebellion in Sarkoris? Yes, I did. I didn't want violence, but I guess I knew from the start that it was unavoidable. just wanted to make everyone admit that we were people, too. I wanted them to stop hunting us down and imprisoning us. Great changes never come without bloodshed. Okay, I see. Uh, I've decided what to do with you. And I'm going to say he deserves a rest. Rest both of them, I don't know. Thank you, I don't know what lies ahead of me in the afterlife of oblivion, but either way, thank you. Break. Ah, I broke some. Okay, is there anything else in here? There's a chest over here. Where's well, stuff in it? It's ours. I want spices. Why can you not give me spices? Spices are the thing that make the world go round. There's nothing else up here, right? Oh, speaker doors. Okay. So now we're going down this way. 
a bizarre little place going into her lab. I'm not sure I wanted to do this. There's something there, but I can't get there. I guess it's just a block of stone. Okay. Many steps. Many steps. Now we're on a little platform. A little platform that has a trap door that I can't go through and an open door that I can. So through the open door I guess we go. It's another set of cages. Doors. Can't open any of these doors. Is there more prisoners for me to talk to? Doesn't look like there's more prisoners for me to talk to. I can handle it. Doesn't look like I can get to anything. I have to go through this one. Okay. What is this? What happened? Oh, I opened up something. All right, let's go in here and get attacked. What's going on? Oh, there's something to interact with. Oh dear. Something to interact with. What is this? Another projector. Do I have the crystal for this projector? Oh, it's automatic. There are questions that are better left unasked. There are memories that ought to rouse a storm in your soul. But instead, you look into them and see nothing but emptiness. Unknowing is the worst punishment. Knowing, on the other hand, knowing is eternal, unabated pain. Hmm. Unknowing is the worst punishment. Knowing, on the other hand, knowing is eternal, unabated pain. How is an unknowing the worst punishment if this is eternal pain. I don't understand. Hello. The image of earlier projected on the I raises her head and looks into your eyes. There's no doubt that this time it's not a recording of another one of her experiments. Hello. I brought a dragon. I definitely have to come back and do these things with... Okay, so I guess we just talked to her. I mean, up here, didn't you? Why, that's why you led me to find the crystal. Yes, I did. But I did not drag you here by force. I have never done that. It's true. I could give you a hint, prompt you, but never force you. You asked me a question, and I answered. Now answer mine. When you were there, standing near the crib inside my ruined home, what did you feel? Sadness. So be it. So be it. Pity you? Pity? Me? I did not throw the country that betrayed me into the demon's maw in order to be pitied. I did not do it even for revenge. I simply made a promise. Everyone needs to be pitied sometimes. People who say they don't want it seem to need it more than anyone else. Maybe if someone pitied you back then, a hundred years ago, there wouldn't be a world wound, or a demon invasion, or any other horrible things. Indeed. I was the fearsome witch Threshold's hunters were after. I began studying rifts and soul-changing forces long before they knocked on my door. Huh? I had no intention of applying such knowledge at the time, but... Some temptations are nigh on to impossible to resist. Nemio would love you. I have to bring Nemio next time to talk to her. I have another question for you. The hunter from Threshold. His ghost was imprisoned here. Why did you do what you did to him? To annoy you, of course. <laughs> uh, I felt pity for him. He was only fulfilling his duties. He didn't deserve such a horrible afterlife. His guilt was indisputable. I guess I felt pity for him. I think I'm supposed to answer these in the right order, but I can't remember. I didn't look it up in the wiki. 
He's only fulfilling his duties. He didn't deserve such a horrible afterlife. I see. It was not I who killed him, made him a ghost, and imprisoned him here. He took his own life, and his guilty conscience did the rest. And yet he asked you for forgiveness. That is... odd. It makes no sense. I kind of agree with you, knowing that he committed suicide. So where are you now? Borla? I am where everything began. Threshold. Do not worry, I will not flee when you come here, not again. You will come, won't you? One of us must burn, so that the other may live, and the wound may be eliminated. And one more thing I'd like to ask you. Why did you do what you did to that little traitor, Opon? I felt pity. He stabbed me in the back. But I didn't punish him for that, oh no. He was punished for lacking the courage to fight for his own freedom, and for choosing to grovel before his executioners. Now he is an eternal prisoner. What could be more appropriate? <laughs> it is so odd to realize that I once cared about so many things. That ideas like justice and revenge used to mean something. I have nothing more to discuss with you, I guess. Farewell, then. Threshold awaits. If I can get out of here... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, how do I get out of this place? It just keeps taking me to more and more places. All right. Uh, everybody together. We're only at 16 minutes. So let's go through here and see where we end up. It's just like, oi, zippy pop. Yeah, well, take that. I didn't realize... I left a sword behind from a Valor. I thought I'd gotten them all. It's worth a couple, like a thousand experience points or something. Day whatever, experiment finally. That's right, at last I can try something serious. And then here's the guys. What's this? Don't leave it like this. Do you hear me? I promise, I promise. Now you know. Okay, I fulfilled something. Old hut? Is this where I need to go? No, I need to get the heck out of Dodge. Time for me to go somewhere. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, okay. The portal appears not all the mysteries are left. You have been laid bare. It's time for them to come to light. I just did all this. So now I know she was revenging her mother? Maybe? Okay. Can't make the demons wait. She was revenging her mother or somehow. Something. Okay. I cannot. Oh, I can teleport. So what do I need to go do? Uh, the only thing I got left is to find more notes for this dude. Go here and do this. And then all this... I still don't know how to do this. I've tried. I just, it doesn't tell me where I should send my troops to avenge this. Lighters. Okay. Um, how are my armies looking? My armies can move around. He's only strength 11 army. Um, I think... Okay. How long does this take? That takes 14 days to solve. So when this one's done, I gotta do this one. I get two of these. I get two of these? Mm. But I have to do some of these other things too. It's gonna take five days to do all this. <sighs> Dang. Do I need to have my armies go anywhere or do I just need to go do what's her names okay um, let's go back to here army number two I sent you the wrong way I have to send you to here and 
and then over to here. It takes forever. I'm gonna have to wait another whole day before I can catch up to army number seven, five. And give him his hedge knights. And I pretty much used up everything here, right? Yeah, there's no slots left. And I've bought everything I can buy. So it's gonna be seven days before I can do anything anymore. Um, I did this for to get her up to an army class number 10. Uh, as an army 10, can she really? Oh, why is this so strong? Well, how many? There's lots of barbarians. I don't know, can she take that on with her spells? I mean, if we drop this down on it first, and this, and then go get it. Right? Well, first off, let's have her move. See how far she can get. Get up to here. She can get over to here. So she can get down there. I'm going to try this. This might be a bad idea. But... Didn't really do much damage to him. But we'll fear them. For what it's worth. And then try and go take it on. I don't know if I'm good enough to do this, but we're going to try. Okay. Barbarians are going to go next. So we have to hit the barbarians. Power times power. I don't remember what her power rating is. 32, so 64, 64 plus 5, 69 times 2d6, that should do, a fair amount of damage to him, Took down 200 of them, alright, uh, let's just keep got off one shot. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to charge him. I think I want to let them come to me. Right? Okay. Let's bide. You'll bide too and see what they do. They only move that far. Uh, I'm going to bide you too. Bide you because I want to get off Dang it! She got to cast her spell first. I can't do anything. Dang it! Ah! Dang it. I can barely get into him. Well, this was a bad idea. anything he'll just shield wall himself because he's screwed up I can't get anywhere because I move too slow okay I can get up to hit this one she can't do anything Oh, she can try and do this. He's still going to get hit by those witches, but and then move over here. Well, he does two to five there, but I think that's a little more important. I can't get to there, but I can get to hitting this one for a few. And I get to hit him again. Knock him down a bunch. Okay, she can cast another spell. Um, she doesn't have a lot. 
Power times power plus 5 d8. Maybe try to take out the witches? Is anybody take out the witches? Not quite. So I'm going to have to hit the witches. And then he can only... Well, all I can do is hit here, try and cut him down. And he's going to do the same thing. Can't hurt them at all. But... I don't know, can he... Steal life with them? They just ran away from me. Oh. Well, let's wait a second. Well, we're going to go take a hit. Yeah, big hit. All right. Um, can't fireball, so I just got to do this. I get to do it again, so I'm going to hit this one. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to get back on my guys. Wait. Oh, damn it. I'm just going to move back here, because I'm going to try and see if they can do a heal up there. Okay, we got them back, and then she can come kill them. And my war priest did their job. I think I kept everybody alive. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, I guess I can kind of sort of do, if I'm within one point of it, if I'm very, very careful. Plus, the dynamic has a continuous freedom of movement spell effect. Only catic characters can equip it. Okay, that's nice. I don't have any catic characters, but something to sell, I guess. All right. Um, and then we're going to come up on a cut here. So she did her thing here. Um, we march back, connect this up, start marching down this way. Right? Alright, uh, army number two, you can't move. Because you moved all, you can move. Army number three, you need to go back to Dresden to get more troops. So back to Dresden you must go. Travel. You can't quite get the. Can army number five travel to here and get that anyway? <sighs> yes, he can go get those things. Then he'll travel back. He'll have zero movement points when he gets done, but... Damn it! There we go. So I got a few more of those. I'm in number four. I really don't know what to do with you. You have lots of little bitsies. Little bitty things. Uh... can't really do anything with you. Maybe move you out this way. Kind of be a backstop for if something comes running through here that you can uh, counteract things. If they run up through this way, I'm screwed. Oh, jeez. Really? Seriously? God. All right. All right, I think we're done with this here. Um, I was able to teleport 
And I'm at a cut point, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport back to Dresden. Because there's stuff that I have to do in here. Oh, I know what I need to do. I was going to make a bastion somewhere. I was thinking of doing it. I have to turn one of them into a fortress. I was thinking either this one. Right? Because that's the most forward castle thing I have. Right? I think it gets turned into a fortress. I might be wrong. Oh. I have everything built. I have everything built here. So I have no spaces to build. So I thought I had the... Uh, maybe it was something was going to a bastion. That's what it was. Something going to a bastion? I thought I was making a fortress. Maybe it's a maybe this is being turned into a bastion. Uh Boy, I really don't know. I've got a fort here that lets me get into this area. This one? If it lets me upgrade it. Nope. Okay, I could have sworn I had one going that was going to upgrade something. I'm so confused. All right. Um, we are going to go ahead and teleport back to Dresden because I'm not sure what's going on. And I have to go south anyway to get to uh, what's-her-name thing. So let's go see if there's something going on here that I'm supposed to cut scene or something. I'm missing something here. I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, I don't want to manage. You stupid machine. I want to go in. I hit manage instead of going in. Enter! Where's my citadel? Let's see if there's a cut scenes. Run a little long for the cut scenes. Cutscenes, cutscenes. Or maybe there's no cutscenes. I don't know. That's a cutscene. Here we go. What's this? Captain Odan, commander of the scouts, have brought troubling news. Koramazade has been spotted near Threshold. He's gathering, no, not an army, but a horde the likes of which we've never seen. All those victories you had over him were an affront to the abyss. The general the demons were most proud of, the one they revered, lost to some mortal, and the very thought of it enrages them. Now those who call themselves the Champions of the Abyss are converging under his banner, the most wicked, brutal, and dangerous demonic warriors. Okay, we're not facing another skirmish, but a decisive battle. It will determine which of you deserves the title of greatest military leader in this war. Captain Odai's, Godan's eyes, despite his unusually impassive demeanor, now gleam frantic frantically. Kharazman is not the only one with powerful allies. Your victories have elevated your authority to such sides that the best warriors of Galarian would consider it an honor to stand alongside you in this battle. Why don't we send an official offer to military cooperation with Multhun? Their Imperial Army is strong and disciplined and could be of great use to us. Last Wall and Mendev have much in common. Last Wall too must hold the line against dark forces. The Shining Crusaders are every bit as noble as the Mendevian Crusaders. Maybe we could call them to our aid. Okay, she wants more Crusaders. She wants Last Wall Crusaders. I would suggest contacting the es Esoterium Lodge. It's a private and rather powerful Flexian group of wizards from Corinthian. Their members have combat experience, they're skilled spellcasters, and I know how we can secure their support. After a brief, sly grin, Gabar puts on an instant look and says, if you want to get yourself some intrepid allies who know a thing about thing or two about killing monsters, ask the dragon slayers. Sure, we're not at war with dragons here, but if the monster's big, scaly, and breathes fire, what difference does it make? <laughs> Uh, why can't we accept help from all? These warriors and armies are take pride in their stature and invincibility. To be the ones who aided the legendary commander of Mendum Creators would bring them esteem. But to be just one of many would bring humiliation. Alas, they're not driven by desire to save Galarian, but by ambition and their faith in you, and by their own pride. Okay. Who are these champions of the abyss? A pack of the most vicious and skillful slayers of mortals one could imagine. Many demons see Galarian as their hunting ground. They boast about how many mortals they've killed, how many raids they've been in, how many prisoners they've captured. The very idea that a bunch of Galarians keep defeating renowned General of the Abyss is, anath is an anathema to them. Okay. All right, choice effects. Last wall would give me 
Knights of Ozem. They have cure serious wounds. Battering ram attack. Plus one for every two that they run. They're great at killing undead units. And plus three armor class against undead units. So if I'm facing undead, they're really good. I don't think I'm going to be facing that much undead. Uh, Esoterium Lodge. What do they give me? Arcanus. Arcanus have shield wall, cone of cold, power times d6 times the unit number. Their power is 75, so d6 times the unit number. Magic missile power times d4 times the unit number. Shield wall to help protect themselves. 259, is there a grand tier unit? These are all grand tier units, I guess. What does this give me? Dragon Slayers. They have crossbows. They do 165 to 174 each. They're a ranged unit. Single hand fights most terrible monsters. They know the monster's tricks, so they don't rush into close combat before they properly exhaust their foes with the help of projectiles shot from a distance. Monster Slayer has a plus three bonus to attack and damage any against grand tier units. Cool. And of course, they're for shit in close combat. But it's another ranged unit. Mm. It's another ranged unit. I like ranged units. And what do these guys give us? These guys give us honor guards. Honor guards. Karot gate. Plus three bonus to attack. Plus three bonus to armor class for one round. Plus ten bonus to combat morale at the start of each round. So they could get people to get maybe do attack more. They use long spears and they don't do a lot of damage. Uh, sorry guys, I really like the thought of more ranged units because ranged units seem to be the way to go here. At least in the armies that I've built. So we're going to do this one. Graybar, we're going to do yours. And make sure the scribes attach a list of all the monsters the commander has slain personally. Dragon Slayers are always hungry for glory. They'll jump at the chance to fight shoulder to shoulder with such a famous and deadly figure. Yeah, I've killed lots of demons. Well, we could certainly use new allies. The most gruesome battle in the history of the Crusades awaits us. Either we will prevail over Corpus and the Abyss itself, or we will fall defending glory into the last. Yeah, 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 yeah. Commander, I have a request. Captain, not stop short. Looks around the room frowningly, then shakes his head. Though this isn't the time to make it when you have a spare minute, please come and find me. I would like to discuss something very important to me, something very personal. I would be grateful if we could talk before our army set out to battle the champions of the abyss. Uh, okay, he wants me to do something for him. Oh, it ends request. A new thing for me to do in my journal. Okay, in my journal. I have Ardan's request. Champions of the abyss. Series of defeats. So I have to go fight them. Crusade quest. I still have to do this in the world, not me. End game. I still have to do all that. I have to go talk to Adan. This is getting very rooting. And we have to go do this. I want to go do this. I want to make Nino happy. She was very instrumental in my first uh, three chapters. She's what got me to the point where I could make uh, Ember what she is. So, definitely want to do that. All right, uh, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like see, so go ahead and subscribe, hit the notify bell, be notified, upload videos, and schedule streams. I'm Dread608. Until we meet again, stay safe, and bye-bye.